Here are six signs someone in your life is mistreating you and taking you for granted. Number one, if they hold you to a higher standard than they require of themselves. One of the very best principles for any relationship is found in Luke 6 verse 31 when Jesus said, And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. It's one thing for someone to have personal standards, but if they want you to act in a certain way that they themselves do not act, this is a classic sign of mistreatment. Number two. If they are trying to mold you into someone else rather than loving you for who you are. When someone sees your flaws and withholds love until you change, this is not healthy. You will know you are in a healthy relationship when you two can love each other even after you see each other's flaws. We must never be content in our own sin, but the best way we can help each other grow is by giving love even when we don't deserve it. So if someone is constantly trying to change you, this means they don't really love you for who you are and they are taking you for granted. Number three, if they bring up your past sins to justify their current sins, even though they said they forgave you. Forgiveness is when you no longer require payment for someone's wrongdoing against you because you have wiped the debt clean through the blood of Jesus Christ. You don't have to forget someone's sin to forgive them, but you do need to stop punishing them for this sin if you actually forgive them. Someone who lacks real love for you will use your past failures for justification to mistreat you in the present. As 1 Corinthians 13.5 says about real love, it keeps no record of wrongs. Number four, if they get more upset when you don't do something for them, compared to how grateful they are when you do serve them. When someone begins to take you for granted, this means they will begin to expect you to serve them and demand it rather than being grateful when you do serve them because you chose to. A healthy relationship occurs when two people serve one another, but things get messed up really quick when someone starts demanding that the other person put them first. Number five. If you ask them to do something for you, but they continually forget to do it. Romans 12 verse 10 states, Outdo one another in showing honor. Notice that this verse addresses both people in a relationship. It says we should serve one another. So service should not be just one way. While we can't always accomplish exactly what someone asks for, If someone in your life consistently just forgets to do what you asked for, this is a sign they have taken you for granted. And number six, if they are only nice to you when they want something. James 3 verse 16 states, For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there will be disorder and every vile practice. When someone treats you kindly only so they can get something from you, it's like they are beginning to treat you like an animal in need of training. To train an animal, you just give them a treat so they will obey your command. This is not how healthy relationships operate. So if someone is trying to string you along with niceness only to take more than they give, This is a sign they are taking you for granted and mistreating you. If you are a Christian who wants to apply the Bible to every part of your life, don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell so every time I post a new video, you won't miss it. I'm Mark from AGW Ministries. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching and God bless.